These images here from last night, you can see looters breaking the glass of a McDonald's in downtown Dallas. And another image here of people breaking into the Traffic LA clothing store. And this one of many pictures of officers from the Dallas Police Department patrolling the streets late last night in full protective gear. Early in the day, hundreds of protesters gathered in Dallas and Fort Worth in response to the deaths of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor, both black Americans recently killed by police officers. Our Teresa Woodard shares some of the emotion and anger that filled the streets earlier in the day. Saturday morning's earliest hours dawned with chaos. And Friday night's final hours ended in anger. But before that violence, there was peace. Texas is not Minnesota. It's a problem. Dallas is not Minneapolis. At the end of the day, what we saw was murder. But it happened in America. There is no way in the hell that you put your knee on someone's neck and think that they are going to be able to breathe. It happened to an American, and they feel like it happened to them. They're killing us for no reason. No reason. These are not just cries of justice for George Floyd. Don't you dare sit there and let your black African American male or female die because of these cops. People with their skin color are being killed. You know, he's three, and I had to tell him that today. You know, it's it's not right. They are afraid of the people who are supposed to protect them. I feel like I'm supposed to feel safe, but now that all this is happening, I'm like scared. It just like it just messed up. Fighting for justice is the American way, but a night of violence. We will not be the target of violence. A morning of rage isn't. We shouldn't have never got here. We shouldn't have never got here. We shouldn't have never let them divide us up like this. In Dallas, I'm Teresa Woodard. You know, the nonprofit Next Generation Action Network organized this rally and march outside of Dallas Police Headquarters yesterday. The protest was mostly peaceful throughout the first several hours, but later things escalated downtown. That was a story uh, across the country. Now let's get to our Hannah Davis. Hannah, you know, I woke up this morning to see so many videos on social media uh, of looting, uh, of anger, emotion, and now things have kind of cleared out. Are some of the business owners coming to see what happened? Yeah, good, good morning, Cleo. That's really tough. I've been talking to business owners this morning who are coming here to see what their businesses look like, to see if they can even open today. Take a look at this right here. This is Punch Bowl Social. Uh, this is a really popular bar, restaurant. People come out here. When I got here this morning, this tarp wasn't up. I mean, this window's completely smashed out, so people can get inside. Now, I talked to the regional director out here. She was the one helping clean up. She says that they have not been open because of the shutdown. Um, but she says this is the last thing she wanted to see. It's really difficult as they really try to get on their feet. I want to take a look at the protest last night and kind of how we got here. Uh, here's video of when it first started yesterday around 630. We saw 600 to 1,000 people gathered. They marched for hours, mostly peaceful from 630 to 930, really no incidents. But then at 930, when it started to get dark, that's when we started to see things get out of control. And really, we started to see that violence. Um, Take a look at this, 35, uh, the roadway shut down, protesters blocking that, some of them going up to cars, drivers trying to get out of there, really tense situations. This is what police did not want to see happen. And then in downtown, a lot of the damage was there in addition to Deep Bellum. Neiman Marcus, the storefront shattered out. I saw reports from Chris Sodegi showing different restaurants that were targeted. And then also downtown, this is where police were really congregating. And this is when it started to get tense. There was tear gas thrown, canister after canister, uh, police cars were being targeted, bricks were being thrown, tires being slashed. Chief Renee Hall, the, the Dallas police chief, even went down there herself. She actually got out of the car at one point to try to talk to protesters. She said for the most part through the night, she was happy with the way things were going. It was peaceful. And then at some point that changed. Take a listen. All of a sudden, there were bricks being thrown at officers, bottles of water. As you can see, one of the scout cars took a brick. Um, there was an opportunity for us to uh, pull back, and we did so. I actually personally got out of the car and made sure that pulled the officers back as I was uh, trying to quell the situation and pull our officers back. A brick came over and almost hit me. 
and at that point uh, they flattened the tire of my SUV as well as one of our SWAT trucks and then bottles of water started to come and so the uh, at, at that point in time uh, we had to disperse the crowd because it became unruly. Cleo, that was around 9.30 or 10. I was watching it live last night, and you saw the situation start to turn, like Chief Hall's describing. This morning, uh, we see the aftermath, talking to the business owners, the employees that may not be able to go into work because these businesses are shut down. Meanwhile, there's still so much pain. It is so raw for so many of these protesters. Uh, there's more protests scheduled for today. They're not done making their voices heard. Um, and we're also hearing from the small business owners, really trying to get a picture of everything that's going on this morning. So many people impacted with um, really legitimate points of view. It's, it's tough to wrap your mind around. Back to you. Hannah, you know, you, you just said that there are protests planned for today. Any idea on what time that might start? Because, you know, yesterday it, it did start off peaceful and things got out of control yeah. like it did across the country. It, Yes, and we saw that in different cities where it started peacefully. Uh, we're hearing it's supposed to be the afternoon um, is what I'm kind of hearing from different organizers around 1.30 was one time that I heard. At one point to what you were saying, Cleo, yesterday from 6.30 to 9.30, we really did see 600 to 1,000 people walking peacefully, making their voices heard. And it was when the sun went down, when it started to get dark, when we started to see things really taking that turn. So protests scheduled during the day today. I don't know if that's going to change the tone of what we're going to see. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. But afternoon is what I'm hearing right now. Hannah, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We got you back here at 9 o'clock. We'll see you again soon.